all right everybody eric taylor trail hunter usa coming back to you again uh with another uh video for my overland build i'm in the garage today we're in a terrible cold snap here in uh western kentucky today it's getting up to freezing anyway so i thought i'd come out my heat system for my garage is usually that furnace but with the cold we've had it's not been able to do anything with it so now i've got my propane fire pit in here going as well so and it's warming it up nicely now but what i've got today you see my girls they're having fun actually they want to be inside and in, in the by the fireplace but i i ordered uh uh, and I've looked at a lot of rooftop tents and I I am uncertain exactly how it's going to work with Debbie and us uh, so I, I was contemplating getting a real expensive one and then I thought well I found one uh, on Amazon and it's called nature nest and i'm going to show you what it looks like i ordered it uh from amazon i ordered that nature nest and i've heard a lot of good reviews about it and i've got a few buddies that have uh a different type of nature nest and i guess that's how you say it nature nest and n-a-t-u-r-n-e-s-t and i ordered the uh, uh big uh awning for it as well the um, tent came in a wood box which is really cool today i don't know how far i'm moving forward on it today i'm going to unbox it take a look at it show it to you guys here in the garage and i bought a lift from harbor freight an electric lift that i'm going to use to lift this tent up and put it on top of my Bronco. The only thing, I don't know if I've got that high enough. If it's not high enough, I'm going to have to build something higher up to lift it up. But we'll see, I'll get to unboxing this and I will show you guys this product. I don't see any damage at all on this. Didn't know I got the camera sideways. Nature nest, maybe that's how you say it. Not nature nest, nature nest. Okay, you get these. Uh, this is a lock system. You, you've got to use those keys to unlock it. And this is hooked underneath here, and so are these straps on the edge. These straps come up in here, and they uh, you can pull tension on it once you uh, get it closed. But you'll have to, if you're going to do it like I did, leave it on the ground first, open it up. I'm assuming all the other um, accessories and equipment I need is inside the tent. So what you'll have to do is lift this up. Put a block under it so you can get uh, all these things unhooked underneath and i'm not sure i'm i uh, don't know this is plastic stuff here so this is a real hard plastic i like that but 
we'll see time will tell with with that i'm sure most of them are probably plastic this is the only rooftop tent i've had so i'm gonna what this does this pops up and then you pull the ladder out and it flips open so i'm going to have to turn this around so we can look at it farther and get inside of it Okay, that is how it works. I'll do a better review once I get it on top of my Bronco right now. We're just doing some in box opening and investigation. Looks like pretty good material. They say it's like a clone of these high dollar ones. And by the way, one of the reasons I went with this one, like I said before at the beginning is not had a rooftop tent before. I'm thinking this is gonna be a great starter tent. And it's like a third of the cost of the high dollar ones i'm not going to mention any names but uh i'm going to try this one out and i'm going to get this on top of my bronco and do a better review of it for you and then of course i'll be using it and watch my channel i'll give you an honest review on this i'm not sponsored by them or anything so and i'll just tell you this one was like twelve hundred dollars so if you do your research you'll know that's a pretty good deal for a, a 10 it looks like it's pretty good quality so far but i'll do a better review in a minute right now i'm going to look for the accessories and everything Looks like it comes with two of the shoe uh, bags that you hang underneath here somewhere. We'll see that later when I do the review. So two shoe bags. These are the uh, rods that hold open the door and I'm sure the windows and everything. Some LED lights that go inside of it. I noticed when I was in there, there was already one LED light. So we got two more here. Um, instruction manual. And I'm assuming this is what we use to attach it to the top of the Bronco to the rack to the racket roof rack oh, a nice little carrying bag well this is uh, looks like the controls for all the LED lights and here is the equipment I need to attach it to the roof rack. The box came in damaged on this end was split apart and I kind of pulled that out to show you that there could be parts missing. Um, it came in this box as you can see it's been torn and 
Um, my big concern is I don't think it'll be damaged, but I'm concerned that there may be parts missing. I don't see that there's anything wrong with it. This is crunched up a little bit on this end. Oh, there's a hole there. But I'm not concerned about that too much. I don't know if that's bent or chipped or what. I'll have to take a closer look at it. Take pictures of all this stuff just in case. It might be bent a little bit, but I can bend that back out. I'm not going to raise cane over that. And I don't know what that is. That may fit on the end of this, I think, like that. Oh. Okay, I got this open. It appears where these nuts are under here, the fabric is damaged. That's what these holes are. I don't know if it's a rubbing, bouncing around. I'll put some uh, tape, some they've got uh, tent tape, but you can see this thing has been thrown around and everything else and shipping. I mean, it's heavy, it's long, same thing on this end. That's what that hole is. I looked in here, I didn't see any damage. I haven't opened it up, of course. I get it on the vehicle, I open it up, check it out. I bent this out already and put this thing on there. I don't know the purpose of this other than maybe to keep uh, these little bit of sharp ends from hurting, but I can see that as being the first thing to be lost on this thing. This one down here, same thing. So, all right, I'm gonna, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this stuff out and show you what all comes with it. Okay, this is everything that was in the bag. You can see it's got the instructions there. Uh, some tile for the tent is uh, 270 degree uh, tent. And it's got. Uh, poles that could come down so this will be tied off if you want to tie the poles down I'm sure uh, this is probably to tie on the ends of the tents to attach it to the vehicle I'm assuming of course this stuff is for attaching to the truck to the uh, roof rack racket designs rack tent pegs all the nuts and bolts you need and looks like more cables for i guess this has lighting too all right well overall on the packing i'm not 100 percent happy with it just but i guess they could have used a more heavy heavy duty box uh but overall it got here okay there's a couple little things that i don't mind i can fix myself so uh 
Okay, we're going to, next time you see me, I'm going to be putting this together for you on the truck. On the Bronco, excuse me.